What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Varsity Overland channel. Today, I'm filming from the driveway because we're doing another product review. What product is that? Well, today we're gonna take a look at the Yakima Overhaul HD bed rack. I got a couple questions about it, so stay tuned. All right, so like I said, today's gonna to be a product review on my Yakima Overhaul HD bed rack that I've had on the truck for about nine months, I'd say. Um, so this truck bed rack has been down to Virginia, North Carolina, um, and also up to Vermont, and then, oh yeah, across the country. So um, during the summer, we took our five week long cross country road trip. We went from the East Coast to the West Coast and back um, Southern California, up Route 1, through Oregon, all the way to Washington, and um, this bed rack was with us the entire time. So if you've been following uh, my Instagram account from the beginning, uh, you might notice that I originally just had the bed rack without a tanu cover, um, and then I was able to add the tanu cover thanks to the tanu cover adapters um, that you can get with the Yakima overhaul HD um, configuration, which is awesome. So I'm going to take the camera around to show you some of the various features that go along with the Yakima um, overhaul bed rack. I know that I didn't um, necessarily plan to do this product review. Um, in my last video, I did ask you guys to comment and let me know what you were expecting or something that you wanted to see me do. And I did get a few comments about camping adventures or off-road adventures, kind of like trail rides similar to the last video. And I, I hear you and I have that planned. I'm actually doing a camping trip this weekend and I want to do that. Um, but on the flip side, on the Instagram account, um, I did get a couple messages um, last night while I was sitting down watching Captain Planet eating my uh, Fruity Pebbles. I was messaged on Instagram about my particular bed rack. A couple people who had recently gotten some trucks um, particularly Colorado's, but I did have one guy that had Tacoma who, who messaged me as well and uh, wanted to know the, the setup that I had because I can recognize the difficulty of finding a rack that works with a tanu cover. So luckily a couple guys were able to message me and ask like, hey, what do you have? Like, how did you get that to work? Um, and so, I, you know, I was like, hey, why don't I just do a product review of the Yakima rack? and kind of shimmy that into my schedule between uh, the last video and my camping trip. So I'm gonna take the camera around. We'll look at a couple features that the Yakima rack has, as well as some features that Yakima has in general, because they have a lot of adaptability with their products and I think it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, stick around. We'll start walking around the truck. So what I'd like to point out right off the bat is uh, compatibility of the Yakima rack with Tanu covers. So as you can see, um, my Tanu cover has a T-slot system that runs along the side, and I did mention this in a previous video. But um, Yakima Overhaul HD bed racks, and as you can tell, uh, the Skyline bars and the other types of bed racks that Yakima has as well, they're all compatible with um, specifically Retrax covers and Pace Edwards Ultra Groove uh, covers. So. Unfortunately, I'm kicking myself in the butt right now because I had um, recorded footage before we went on the trip this summer. I had footage of myself installing uh, the rack and then I posted it on Instagram. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could have, head over to my Instagram page and just took, take a look at one of my first videos. But um, I tried to find that video, but once I posted it on Instagram, I just decided to delete it off my phone because I was a noob. And I was like, yeah, I posted it. I'm never going to need that content again. Now I don't have to, um, you know, use up storage on my phone. So I apologize for that. What I would have liked to do is um, I would have liked to show you specifically what the, uh, what the bolts look like. They're really beefy bolts, okay, um, that go into, into the rack. So they slide in here 
you fit them in, you just slide them all the way down to where you need them. Um, they poke up the top, then you just, you take the feet, mount them on the bottom of the rack um, itself, place the rack down, the bolts pop through these two sections, put the nubs on, tighten them down, easy peasy. All right. Um, so as far as compatibility with anything other than Pace Edwards or Retrax, I have no idea. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, I know on their website they just named those two, and that's why I got the Pace Edwards uh, Ultra Groove Tanu cover. Um, I'll say that when you buy the Yakima rack itself, it does come with two uh, separate bolt styles or bolt types. So one is a really large, kind of taller, beefy bolt, um, which actually didn't fit in here, and the other one is a uh, a, a bit smaller so I don't know if that is the difference between the two covers if they both are the same and they just give you the options um, you'd have to try it out definitely definitely do your research ahead of time um, if you're just hoping it's gonna work with your t-slot tiny cover and it happens that it's something different than um, Pace Edwards or Retrax so next we're gonna look at a product that I fell in love with right off the bat okay this is called the top grip all right which is a Yakima product obviously um, and it fits into the crossbars that you can get with your Yakima rack so this section right here okay between the two bars does not come with the Yakima overhaul HD bed rack um, it's a separate product that you have to buy uh, it comes in two sizes because there are two configurations of the bed rack so you also obviously need to know the length of your bed but this is the short version um, which can be extended. So you have this section in the center. Um, once you untwist the bolt on the other side, it can be extended. Um, obviously, I didn't need to extend it very far, um, but I will throw specs up on the bottom as well of the screen right now uh, to let you know the shortest that it can go, the longest it can, it can go, um, depending on the size of your bed. Just a good rule of thumb, you know, if there's a small size and a large size, usually that'll apply to whether you have a mid-size truck or a full-size truck. So you know that Chevy Colorados are mid-size, considered mid-size trucks. So I went with the small option and it worked out perfect. Um, but anyway, back to the top grip. You can see I have my top grip installed. Uh, it is extremely simple and very, very easy to use. Um, so what happens is the back of the top grip here has <clears throat> a little, uh, almost like a washer that's attached to the back. You put your Allen wrench in here, you unscrew it to make it loose, you fit it in, slide it to wherever you need to, and then once you get it into place, use the Allen wrench to tighten it. And I mean, this thing has been on here for, how long did I say I had the bed rack? Nine months? The thing's been on here for nine months. All right, um, and I think I only had to like loosen them to adjust them once, only because I didn't like where my um, where my shovel was being placed. So normally, if I'm going camping or if I'm just lazy and don't take it off, I have my shovel up here. Okay, and it's. If I can do this with one hand, that'd be awesome. There we go. So, really secure. This thing is not going anywhere, okay? And you'll notice that uh, it's got these little kind of like circular plugs on the top grip, and that is for a lock system, and I, I definitely have the lock, <laughs> and I've gone nine months without installing it, so my bad. But anybody want a rusty shovel? Go for it. Not locked. Um, but yeah, so it has locks that you can buy and the locks are compatible with any um, Any accessory that goes along with your Yakima bed rack system so you get one set of locks uh, In a pack and it can go along with any of these accessories. So I mean either you get the same locks <clears throat> all the way around or you know, you just exchange the locks depending on the accessory that you're using so um, since we're using uh, our accessories here, these top grips on the passenger side of the truck, I will now transfer over to the driver's side of the truck. So over here on the driver's side of the truck, uh, mounted on the Yakima rack, I have my recovery boards. Now, Yakima 
makes a recovery board mount, believe it or not. Um, and they call it the recovery board mount. Okay, this is it. Got the little Yakima logo right there. Uh, and you might be wondering, why do I still have it? Brand spanking new, nice and shiny. In the box, instructions and all. Why isn't it mounted on the truck? Well, you'll notice the holes. You'll notice these little cross sections here. Um, and this is only meant for Max Tracks. So it says recovery boards, and I might be, so I might be speaking too, too soon, but if there are other types of recovery boards very, very, very similar to Max Tracks, then those might work. But generally, they're only meant for Max Tracks, and I didn't figure that out until I bought my recovery boards, bought the Yakima uh, attachment, and then tried to set it all up and realized it just wasn't going to fit. Um, these recovery boards are x -Bulls. Uh, they've done great for me. They've helped me out in the sand. They've helped me level the truck. They've helped me um, um, Jack up the truck in the mud uh, It's it they work fine. Um, I haven't done like a max tracks versus expo recovery board You know review or anything like that. I don't have max tracks. I'd love max tracks. They are on the pricey side um, But I'm assuming that's because they're the best of the best, right? So these are doing fine for now um, This is not a review about recovery boards. So how did I get them on the Yakima rack if I didn't use that? Well, another great thing about the Yakima rack is that T-slot system, okay? You can see tucked away up here as well as on the crossbar, which I'll get these recovery boards off so you can see it in a second. But you'll notice everywhere else on, on the rack too, there's T-slots all over the place. So if you find the right size carriage bolt, um, you can kind of rig something up yourself. And that's exactly what I did here. And I have a video, unlike my last one, I didn't delete it, um, of myself installing this before our trip. But it is weird because I was shooting it for Instagram and it's done, you know, kind of vertically. And not horizontally so if i throw it up on youtube it just kind of like shrinks the screen looks all weird so i'm just going to try to do it right now so um let me take a look at the uh the bolt size really quick so i don't give you the wrong information um and then i'll show you what it's like to take the whole thing off now why did i do this instead of just hopping on to expo and seeing if they have a mounting option well guess what i did and this is the setup that i got um, found it on Amazon. It was not crazy expensive. So once I had it sent to me, I was like, eh, I think I could do better. So what happens is this kind of like would just go over the bar. The bar would go in the middle. Um, and then it would, it would just screw on through, through the holes that exist. And I wasn't really sure how I felt about that. So let me get the, uh, let me get the recovery boards down. Got a knob through knob right here. Lefty Lucy, Lefty Lucy. All right, and he did now, here we go. So, through knob actually came with x -Bull. okay? So that was a plus, I was able to use the through knobs. Now, if you if you don't have access to anything like this, you don't have this at home, um, a wing nut would probably work just as well. Also, I saw these on Amazon. So, type in through knob, Amazon, probably not gonna be crazy expensive, um, and you could rig something off yourself. After the through knob, got this small piece of plastic that also came with the x -Bull. So I guess the x -Bull kit didn't, didn't ruin everything, right? But um, let's say you don't have a piece of plastic like this, okay? What would you do? I'm thinking possibly um, some like small piece of plumbing, some small piece of tubing, something that you could easily cut to make it fit the right size that you need to push down that um, washer that I also have on there as well. So, as you can see, I could fight with this washer if I really wanted to get it off right now, but it's a lot easier if I just yank the whole board. So, after I do that side, I do that side, nothing on the bottom, nice and easy, take the board off, okay? And then I'll show you what it looks like underneath everything else. All right, so here's the setup that I'm working with. These are, uh, I believe, quarter inch, 
five inch long carriage bolts. All right, and the setup is pretty simple. So I put the carriage bolt through the T-track along with um, a washer of its own on the inside. All right, and once I got it into position, I put another washer on the outside along with a, um, along with a nut to hold it into place, okay? I guess I gotta tighten that one a little bit. All right, so that way you don't have the uh, the carriage bolt just kind of like flopping because it wasn't a perfect exact fit, okay? But it was just close enough to make me attempt it and it turned out everything was fine. So um, this way, it's like I said, it's not flopping around, it's held into place. You put the recovery boards on over the top of it um, and then you just use the uh, plastic piece, push the washer down, through knob on top all right now if i didn't put that together and i elected to go with the x-bowl kit that was sent to me this is the setup that they expect you to use so the plastic piece just goes on the back with the two bolts all right that go around the bar and it would it work yeah it would all right, to hold up the max tracks. But if I end up getting stuck or if I need the max tracks in a hurry, um, you know, or if I just don't want to be bothered with the time, it it's kind of a pain to get the max tracks off. And I keep saying max tracks. They're just expo boards. They're not max tracks. All right, so if I need to get the recovery boards off, um, I would unscrew the top, unscrew the bottom, and then the bracket on the back would just fall as I grab the boards. And it just, I don't know, it, maybe, maybe you don't find that a big deal. I just kind of felt like that was too cumbersome, right? For, for a simple task. I just wanted something that was going to be quick. So I put this together um, and it's been great. Okay. So that's how the max tracks were mounted when, you know, we did our, our big trip this summer, never had an issue at all. Um, and in fact, because, you know, I have a lazy factor of over 9,000. I haven't taken them off yet. So they work out just fine. And this is all part of the Yakima review. So why does this even matter? Look how versatile that is. Like I was able to just come up with that, you know, just come up with that on your own. So getting a rack that has a T-slot option even has T-slots on the underside, right? On the underside of the bars there. It just makes up so much more adaptability. It makes for so much more like like space for storage and mounting things and you know whatever. I'm probably I mean my plan to get some weight off the back of the truck here is I'm probably just gonna throw the recovery boards up on top of the princey rack and then I'm gonna grab my high lift jack and throw it up here on the side. And you know, with some basic simple modification it'll work just the same okay so this next section and it's probably gonna be one of my last segments about the rack um, has to do with the mounting options for your rooftop tent all right so here's a little bit of advice okay if you're just getting into overlanding or just getting into cam um, vehicle camping or whatever you want to call it um, and you order your tent, and you order your rack, and you start throwing it all together, spoiler alert, you might find out that not all rooftop tent brackets are created equal. All right? So if anyone has any experience with iCamper, you'll kind of recognize that these, um, these brackets are actually from the iCamper 1.0, even though this is the 2.0. And in a hurry, I had to order these brackets from iCamper um, to work with the Yakima Overhaul HD bars. Probably like four or five days before we took our very first trip to the uh, George Washington National Forest in Virginia. Uh, luckily, everything worked out. It all came in time. And as you can tell, it fits. It's up there. It's good. Tightened down. Have not had a single issue right? No sliding, no wobbling, no nothing. Okay. Um, so just a bit of advice, the Yakima HD bars themselves. All right. That will be 
these bars. Okay. These are the, these are the HD bars. You can still get these. You don't have to get these like specifically, um, only with this entire bed rack. You can get these HD bars to be compatible with some other Yakima products. But anyway, these bars are beefy, right? They're huge. They're thick and turns out just a little thicker than your average bed rack bars. So your rooftop tent, whatever brand you have, make sure, all right, that the brackets that that rooftop tent comes with are big enough to fit these thick bars. Okay, inch and a half, I believe, is the thickness. I could be totally wrong. You'll find out right now as I post it somewhere on the screen. Um, but do your, your due diligence, okay? Look at plenty of reviews online, make sure you're a thousand percent sure. And that kind of goes with, with anything, right? Because I could say that about the uh, recovery board mount on the other side, make sure you are a thousand percent positive, right? Don't say, well, it'll probably work because then you end up kicking yourself in the butt. Even if you have the extra time, now you have to go return a product and blah, blah, blah. It's just, ain't nobody got time for that, right? So last segment about the, uh, about the Yakima rack here. All right. So a couple interesting things, very easy to change the height of this, loosen these bolts. There's two on one side and then on the back side as well, you loosen them. Um, the rack is probably about as low as it can get right now, but this thing can get so much higher, right? It can gain so much height. Um, so I'll throw up those specs on the screen. All right. About how tall, or how short you can make the rack. Um, and if you are not a fan of like the minimum height, they make a smaller version of this entire setup. Okay. So you can get one that's a little bit more like, um, like mid cab height. I've seen a lot of overlanders do this. Um, they get their bed rack. That's a little bit more like middle, middle of the cab height so that their rooftop tent, once they set it on, it, it doesn't actually like raise any higher than the cab of their truck, um, which obviously was not an option for us because of the length of the eye camper. All right. Totally still satisfied though. Okay. So don't let that take away from it. Um, the HD bars I mentioned before, you can get these, take them off and they're compatible with any other Yakima, um, loading, loading platform, like the skyline bars. Okay. Or the skyline, um, footholds with these bars. So these are the, this is the whole skyline setup I have on the bottom, which is something else that makes this really cool is we were able to take our cross country trip this summer with the overhaul HD bed rack system and the skyline system right underneath it inside of the T tracks. So this one, I just have it mounted here. Um, mentioned this in, in, I think maybe my first video, I have it mounted here kind of permanently just because it's not really in the way of anything else. Um, this one I have removed just kind of, it's in the center and, um, it's easy. It's easy to pop off, right? There's that key locking locking system I mentioned earlier. Just you turn the key, it unlatches here. Just pull the whole thing up. Um, so like I said, if I wanted to take this, this bar off, keep the foot, take the bar off, take this HD bar and lay it across, I could completely do that. That's what's another, that's another thing that's really cool about Yakima products is they are all interchangeable. All right. Um, so when I did that for our big trip, we had the skyline bars underneath the HD platform and I was able to put the warrior basket. Uh, Yakima warrior basket right here across them. So I don't know if they did it on purpose. I'm going to, I'd like to think that Yakima, like the, you know, the big wigs over at Yakima kind of like had this in mind, who knows? Um, but if they did it on purpose, they are geniuses because the whole basket set up underneath the larger bed rack all fit together so perfectly. Um, we had the two bars running across, like I said, and then the basket was right, right on top of that. Uh, and there was still plenty of space to throw things up inside the basket, you know, without like 
whacking my head on the rooftop tent. And if there wasn't space, like I said, we could raise these. Come over here, loosen this up, pick it up as high as it could go, tighten it again. There would have been so much space. It would have been so simple. All right, so two things I want to mention in conclusion. One, I am not affiliated with Yakima at all. I know I had a lot of like really good things to say about it, kind of building it up, but this, this video is in no relation to the company of Yakima. Okay, and B, um, if you have anything that you would like to say about the Yakima rack, uh, the Overhaul HD Yakima rack, or kind of like any Yakima product in general, if you have anything you wanna say, positives, negatives, your own experience, comment down below, uh, and I'll see if I can address it in a later video, or if, you, if there's something specifically with this bed rack that you have a question about, or with this bed rack that you want to comment on because maybe you have one yourself, and you want to share your knowledge or your experience, let me know. I'll address it later on. Um, this is probably not a perfect product. I did say a lot of great things about it, um, all the positives that I felt. I want to do I want to do this product justice. I want to be honest about it. I have had it for nine months. It has been strapped to the truck for nine months. I have covered a lot of ground with this, this rack on the truck, and I've done a lot. Um, and I'm being perfectly honest, it has not given me any trouble as far as its structure, as far as its compatibility, as far as uh, just anything. You know, I mean, even the powder coating is still on this thing. I mean, nine months is not a long, long time. But um, you see other products start to break down within half the time. So it's amazing. I think it's great. If you're looking for a compatible bed rack that works with T-Track Tanu covers, specifically Retrax or Pace Edwards Ultra Groove, the Yakima HD Overhaul HD is the way to go. Okay. Or possibly some of their smaller versions of this bed rack, but it's amazing. All right. So that's going to be it for this product review. Um, like I said, let me know what you think of the product down below. Let me know if you have any questions specifically about it. Um, I am going to pray that I got all the specs right when I was throwing them up all over the screen during this video. Um, and if I didn't get something right, let me know in the kindest, nicest way possible. Okay, please don't turn the comment section into a dumpster fire. All right. Peace, people.